Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. It's Sunday today, and uh, the weather's starting to be really nice here. So I thought I'd do a typical summer fragrance video, but um, the fragrances that I'm gonna mention can basically cover your whole life, in my opinion, because there's something for the young kids, there's something for the middle-aged men, and uh, there's something for the older guys as well. So um, if you just want some fragrances that can cover your whole life, maybe uh, this might be beneficial. And there are different type of summer fragrances here, also some spring fragrances. So why not start with this one, very easy going. The first one that I uh, really, actually, see if this, see if this auto focuses on, it was a good summer fragrance. A, um, a very good uh, gym fragrance. You see, I don't have a lot of juice left because this is just a quick fragrance that you get in the moment. Maybe you're going out uh, playing tennis or whatever sport. You can buy this one really cheap. So this is for the younger guys. And also, if you just want a easy to apply, easy to wear fragrance for the summer month that doesn't uh, cost a lot. And uh, also we get into uh, a little bit cheaper summer fragrances that I really like actually. This one is better performing. This is uh, Chrome from Asaro. And this is of course a very classic fragrance. Been around since the mid 90s I think. But uh, every time I feel this uh, scent I think it's uh, different to a lot of other fragrances I have in my collection and uh, I don't think it smells cheap and stuff like that. I think it smells a little bit this metallic note but in a very good way and a very interesting and long-lasting good projecting fragrance and people generally generally will like this type of scent. So that's another one for the younger guys. If we go into um, I can say middle age you can wear this both when you're young and mid-age, I think. This is a fragrance that I've been wearing a lot, actually, now. Both when I'm just sporting, just sprayed on, just standing on, on my uh, table at home. Not even in the fragrance collection anymore, just st standing on my, and on my drawer, basically. And I just see it and I just spray it, so it gets very easy to access. And I like that with a fragrance, that you don't have to really think. And this is a fragrance that almost everyone in my surrounding like. And this is the, the newer version. And I th don't think it's the version of this year, but this is, I think it's last year's version. Light Blue Forever from Dolce Gabbana. Buy this one instead of the O Intense. The O Intense is overrated, in my personal opinion. It's too salty. And this is much better. Longer lasting as well. That's a great one to another fragrance that is a little bit different and I think it's pretty interesting. Um, not so well known, but I just throw it in here. And this is from Algabra Parfums. It's called From the Heart. It's, it's extract the parfum, so it's pretty long lasting, uh, this one. And this is a fragrance that you can wear both when you're young, middle-aged and old. Because, because th this one basically smells like hand soap. This very, smells like a very soapy fragrance, smells like a hand soap, smells like fresh washed linen sheets, something like that. And you can wear this actually as a uh, fragrance all year round. Almost a unisex type of smell, I would say. So this is also a good thing in the summertime. It smells like new, new washed clothes, basically. And good long longevity, of course, if you care about that. I don't do personally that much. But anyways, next up is a fragrance for the super high heat days. You, you have to get this one uh, in your collection. Well, I think I'm gonna have this as a scent of the day because sun is shining, it's gonna be 23 degrees here today. So 
why not spray this on today? Fresh lemonade. Um, longevity is not good. It doesn't last so long on your skin. So buy a 125 milliliter bottle of Artisan Pure and just spray along in the warm summer months and you will be good to go. Of course, this one you can basically wear uh, no matter how old or how young you are, I feel. This is also a very versatile fragrance. It's easy going though, it's not dressed up. So wear, doesn't, don't wear this one in uh, formal locations, wear it in a little bit more casual situations. For the younger guys and also middle age, if you want a sweeter fragrance that you can wear in the summer, but not in like 30 degrees Celsius heat, per Perfumes de Marley Percival, great fragrance, a little bit more sweetness. But this one lasts a very long time on your skin. Good for summer night dates, I would say, when it's, uh, the sun is uh, setting and uh, it becomes a little bit colder. Maybe you're grabbing a sweater, maybe you're going out for some drinks with some friends or a loved one or a first date, whatever. This one is going to be a hit. No, nobody is going to have anything bad to say about your scent. I can show you that if you're wearing this one from Perfumes de Marley. Another one, if you like a little bit different approach, a little bit more leaning unisex fragrance, I would say this is not for the super old guys, but this you can wear from your 18, 20, up to 30, 40, I would say. And this is Prada Lom Leo with the iris, but this is a more it's more creamy type of fragrance. It's not a uh, citrus fragrance. They have some added cit citrus to this uh, Lom Leo edition that uh, they don't have in the original Prada Lom. But if you want a little bit more citrus, it's not much, but this is a little bit more easy to digest. If you're not a big fan of Iris, but still want something different, you're tired of the so-called toilet freshener citrus fragrances, then this might be something for you because this is a great fragrance. It's very, it's leading a little bit unisex and I've heard a lot of girls say that this is not masculine enough, but if you don't care about that, go for the Prada Lom Leo, fantastic fragrance. Now we head into a little bit more mature, a little bit more formal situations in the summertime and also like all around. And I, I have to mention this one because this is, my signature scent. I finally found my signature scent after all these years. And I'm really, really glad that I have. And this is um, Dior Homme 2020. This is my personally favorite fragrance that I've smelled since I started this hobby. I think it's uh, one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled, actually. Yeah, that's that's. That's the big words coming out from my mouth, but I really feel that because every time I smell it, I feel like, I don't know, is it, there's just something with this one that just resonates with me. Maybe you have a similar fragrance at home that you feel the same. And I can wear this um, all day, every day. I don't get tired of it. It's the structure of this one. So uh, Dior Homme 2020 is for I would say people in my age, 30, 35, 40 and up, because this smells a little bit more formal. It smells a little bit more high class, a little bit more dressed up. This is not like a t-shirt and shorts type of fragrance. It's a little bit better to have some little bit more formal outfit, maybe a shirt or chinos or, yeah, you can wear this with a suit. Perfect for a uh, summer wedding, for example, if you're going to a summer wedding this year. Uh, buy a sample of this one or a full bottle and wear it. Fantastic. The last one, Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. Not a compliment getter. Unfortunately, it's not because of the oak moss in this fragrance and also the lavender. The oak moss and the lavender is two fragrance notes, if you didn't know, that is really associated, especially with the younger girls, like this old man type of scent, because a lot of fragrances back in the 80s were pretty heavy on the lavender and also the oak moss in their fragrances. Especially from the French uh, perfume houses, they used a lot, and um, probably they smell their grandma, grandfathers or their fathers wearing these type of classic 80s style type of fragrances. So, 
But this could be a benefit for you if you are a little bit older. And uh, I noticed that uh, older women appreciate these type of scents a little bit more because they associate these type of fragrance notes with their youth and their glamorous glory days when they were young and pretty, hopefully. So uh, Body Shore from uh, Tom Ford is a fantastic fragrance. I use it sometimes, not that often, but uh, sometimes formal events, golfing, stuff like that. So I think these fragrances will cover the warmer months from 18 to basically 80 uh, and up. Thank you for watching. See you the next time.